Hi everyone and welcome back to Northwestern Models TV and today I'm going to show you how to build this very simple kit from Skytrex. This is an O-Gauge kit and it's their oil drums on stands kit. So, let's get started. Right, so, as with all Skytrex kits, let's get stuck in and see what we've got in the pack. So, in the pack we have two oil drums a brick base and some white metal parts which two of them make up a wooden base and we also have a couple of buckets as well and then we've actually got the little taps as well which are on uh, some white metal sprues so what I'm going to do first is to clean up all the white metal and resin parts and to do that I'm going to use a craft knife and some needle files just to get rid of the extra bits of flash and things which are on there um, if you've seen any of the other how-to videos it's really easy to do so just head on over to those and once I've done that we can start looking at uh, getting it all assembled so now that we've got all the parts all cleaned up um, I think the first job essentially is going to be to fit the taps to the oil drums. Now the taps will go into the oil drum where the tap uh, cap is. They should just about be able to see it on the camera there. Um, that is the place where it needs to go in. So what we're going to have to do, um, you have a choice really with the taps. Uh, this, this is the tap here. It's, it is quite small. Um, you can either drill a hole into the oil drum and cut this part here back to the actual tap uh, there, just there to the end of my finger now. Um, but we also need to make sure that we bend this part of the tap down so it creates a hook uh, kind of shape. So it's, you know, it feeds the, uh, the oil out at a bit of a, at a nice angle. Um, and I think, like I said with this, you, ha you do have the choice, you can either attempt to drill the, the oil drum out, and it's made of resin, so it should drill relatively easily, um, but I wouldn't use a power drill with it, I would use a, a pin drill, uh, like this, so it's a hand, a hand drill essentially, and just very carefully just take your time with it. Um, it, it will there goes the pin. Uh, ultimately it will um, make the join between the two a lot stronger because you've actually getting the, the tap going into the oil drum. So I'm going to have a go at drilling out uh, at least one of them and see how we go. Um, I'll use a smaller drill bit first and then open it up to the right size uh, with a slightly larger one. So I'll have a go and we'll see what happens. Right, so I've drilled a hole in my first oil drum, which you should be able to see there. Um, so to make sure that it is the right uh, diameter size, which I've made sure before anyway, uh, we can now see that the uh, tap does indeed go in uh, into the oil drum uh, as required. So what I'm going to do is glue this in into here now, because uh, I'm happy that it's going to be in there. Um, and to glue it in, I'm going to use the Deluxe Materials Rocket Rapid Super Glue. Um, and all I'm going to do is put a small blob just on the top of the hole for the tap to go into. And what will happen then 
is that as we push the tap in, making sure we got it the correct sort of position, it will also push the glue down with it, um, but also create a nice uh, join on there. So when we set it, we want to make sure that we've got the oil drum um, on its side and that the tap is at the bottom and just make sure that the top of it is aligned vertically, just do it by eye and you should be okay. So I'll do the same now with the other one, I'll just leave that upright to dry um, and then we can see about bending the taps and then assembling the rest of the kit. Right then, so we have two different mounts that we can use for this particular kit. We've got the resin cast brick mount and we also have uh, two stacks of uh, wood in white metal uh, which we can use for this. Um, so for this one I'm going to use the resin uh, cast brickwork and it is really simple, so all you need to do is literally just stick the barrel, the old drum, on the top of the uh, brickwork and again to glue it on all I'm going to do is put a bit of the Rocket Rapid along the two ridges at the top uh, because this will mean that the glue is in the right place So, and I'm also just going to put a little bit down the middle as well, um, as that may just catch the very bottom of the oil drum. And again, making sure that I've got the tap of the oil drum at the bottom. I'm just going to place it on there, and hopefully, uh, if we're able to leave it, that will uh, hopefully stick itself to there. So, let's put that to one side. So with the other one, I'm going to do the exact same thing um, on the wooden supports for this. You can just about make out that there is a V shape there. So I'm just going to glue at on those two V pieces and in the middle and then attach it to the oil drum that way. And then, as this one is this loop, we can pop it in, do it vertically like so. Just pull that end. And then if I do the same with this one, we should then be able to hopefully. Put it up uh, properly onto its full stand, like so. So there we are. And that, in some ways, in essence, is the kit made up. Nice and simple. And it is a simple kit to do. Uh, and once you know, you've painted and weathered these, they'll be pretty good. And the only obvious last thing to do is to bend the end of the tap around and you may want to shorten it down but it's white metal and so it will bend relatively easily and you should be able to get a nice uh, curve on it. If you feel that it is too long of course you can trim it back with a pair of side cutters uh, to make it nice um, and the only other thing would be to fix the little buckets on the ground in front of the uh, oil drums and the job is essentially done. So there we are, that's how to put together that really simple kit of the oil drums and stands. All that's required now is a coat of paint on the, once it's all set and you know, it's ready to go. I mean the oil drums would typically probably be blue in colour, the taps either in brass or just black would be fine. Same with the buckets, they'd probably be black or a you know, um, stainless you know, grey or something like that. Um, 
brickwork obviously in red and the, the wood for the wooden stand obviously you know brown for wood. Um, so anyway it's a really nice simple kit really easy to use and it's been really really popular as well so yeah um, I would highly recommend it for your O gauge layouts as it's ideal for around any sort of modern uh, motive power depot or even a steam age uh, motive power depot to be fair so there we are. Anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed this video, and if you have, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Also, do make sure that you hit that subscribe button as well, because we've got plenty more How To Build It videos on the way, as well as, obviously, our collection of new products coming in all the time in the shop. So, until next time, happy modelling!